Welcome to this short video on how to keep your software healthy. First step, we have to make sure that our software is doing its proper backups. You can either do manual backups or automatic backups. The automatic backups should already be programmed right here in Automate on your dashboard. If you notice that there's a little red number here on the top right hand corner of Automate and you click on the drop down list and you see that something is not running properly, please contact the help desk. If you would like to run a backup manually, you can do so by going to File, Backup Database, and here you can choose if you want to do it on a USB stick and you choose which one or on your hard drive. It is also possible to upload on a Dropbox or Cloud. Next thing is the version of your software. On the bottom left hand corner of the software, we have the version. If you have a version that is newer that is available, it will show up on the bottom right hand corner down here and it will say, updates available and all you need to do is close the software choose yes for quit program and then the update will start automatically if you prefer doing a manual verification to see if there's any available updates you can go to help and check for updates and click right here on check for updates at the moment there are no updates available but if there was, you can double click on them and it should start the update manually. We also highly recommend to keep your Windows updates done. This will ensure that your computer will work properly and that the program will work smoothly as well and it won't slow anything down. Something else that is highly recommended is to reboot your PC at least once a week so nothing else is slowed down and your Uniform Agri can run properly. You may notice at the top right hand corner of your software, a little envelope here. When it is flashing, this means you have a message and you can click on it to access the mailbox. Or if it's a red flashing number, this means that there has been something that hasn't ran properly, most likely in your automate tasks. If you click on it and you don't know what it means, please give the help desk a call. The next thing is the dashboard accuracy. It's important to verify if all the cows that are on our dashboard are actually in the herd. You can also check over here in calves to sell, the beef and surface bulls if these are actual animals that are on the farm. For example, we have one animal in beef, but she's actually a dairy cow. So we can double click on her and in her animal record, we can edit go to pedigree details and put her as a dairy cow instead of female beef. If we go back to the dashboard, we also have the calves to sell. If these calves are no longer on the farm, it is best to remove them from the software. You can do so by going in daily events, in batch entry, sale. You can remove dairy cows and choose calves to sell. Click on next. Choose the calves that you want to remove from the software. Next, fill out this information and click on finish. It is highly recommended to fill this information out, especially for dairy trays. But if not, you can choose the sale date and click on finish and they will be removed from your software. If we go back to the dashboard, we have a to do button in the middle of our screen. In this to do button, we have calves to be sold. It's often the ones that appear here in calves to sell. And we also have the incomplete sales. If we click on the incomplete sales, it will bring us to the animal here that the sale is not completed. We can push on OK. And the only thing that is missing is the income. Oftentimes, we don't know how much we receive for our animal when sending her to the auction, so we don't put an amount. But afterwards, if we know, we can come and add it in manually like this. And then when we finish and go back to the dashboard, we don't have any more incomplete sales. 
If you would like more tips on how to keep your software healthy, please visit the resources part of our website under webinars, and we have a full webinar explaining how to keep your software healthy. If you have further questions, don't hesitate to contact the Help Desk.